Hey guys, Jacob CDF here. It's I don't know what day it is today, but we're filming a little what's in my bag kind of video. So yeah, let's start with my personal effects. For hand sanitizer, we have a Casino Sanitizer Spray On The Go Protection 30ml. Had this since COVID, obviously the fluid inside isn't Casino anymore, it's some random other antibacterial hand sanitizer. Very convenient. So this is my daily driver, it's a 2020 iPhone SE, good camera, I love iOS and yeah, serves its purpose, so very good purchase. Uh, for my earbuds of choice, I've actually been rocking this Awe. Actually recently it broke on me, so the right side doesn't charge anymore. But yeah, for $30, it, it's a really great pair of earphones. Next we have my wallet, so the one I'm using is actually a homage to the Ridge wallet. It's a bit broken. This. This fabric thing shouldn't be visible, there should be another metal plate over it. But yeah, serves its purpose. Very good, very sleek. Very good conversation starter also. Very good, I like it a lot. Uh, now for my timekeeping essentials. So, I love this watch. This is a Garmin 4 Runner 55. Very functional, very good for my runs and everything. Very, very recommend if you're just getting into running. And for exams when they don't let you use a smartwatch, I don't even know if Garmin is considered a smartwatch, but I'm not taking any chances. So this is a Casio LW200, got probably in sec 3, so that would be 4 or 5 years ago. Uh, very good, serves its purpose, and I always set it to be 6 minutes in advance, so I can sort of gaslight myself into not being late. Uh, but yeah, I like this watch a lot. Now on to the fun stuff. So there was an entire uh, messenger bag, duffel bag kind of craze last year. And of course I had to get in on the act. So yeah, you, you can't really see much from it, but I'll put a picture on screen. Uh, but basically this bag was free from the airport actually. Very big, very functional. A lot of space for anything you need. And sometimes when I don't feel like wearing a duffel bag, I use this Jansport. This was actually from SEC2, so 2016, I believe. 2017. Uh, I love Jansport. Jansport is very durable, really bite for life kind of thing. And to be honest, there was actually a hole right at the bottom, so I tried to patch it the best that I could. It kind of looks really whack, but uh, yeah, it serves its purpose, so. Form, a function over form. I guess I'll start with my tech devices now. So this is my Laptop sleeve of choice, some random laptop sleeve on Shopee, and it, it does its job. So, yep, that's that. For my laptop of choice, I use a Lenovo P14s. This is the Gen 2 edition. I've had it for maybe two years. The reason I wanted Windows was because I heard that in CS, like sometimes when you use Mac, then there will be some compatibility issues, or like you'll have to do a few extra steps in order to download the necessary software. So that's why I chose Windows, and also because I want to do finance, so Excel on Windows is just way better than Excel on Mac. Oh, and this is one PSA, so actually I couldn't find this in stores or anything, so I had to buy my Lenovo on Amazon. So it actually came with an American charger, and that's why I have to use an adapter every time I charge it outside, which is kind of annoying. I might buy a 3-pin charger in the future, but for now, this works. Alright, next up we have my iPad Air from 2020. Uh, yep, yeah, don't really have much to say, it's a very good device. Is it necessary for university? I wouldn't say so. But it just makes life a lot easier. And I guess I'm one of the few people who have an iPad but don't have a Mac, and I prefer Windows instead. But honestly, honestly, it's, it's not so inconvenient, so... If you want the benefits of both, it's very possible to do so. I guess now it's time for my stationery. So this is a pencil case from Popular. I think it was like $20 when I bought it five, six, seven years ago. Honestly, the quality is surprising. It's, it's actually very good. And I, I just like the silhouette as well. It's very slim, narrow. This thing got me through A-level. So yep, thank you very much, Popular. You are amazing. Just gonna look through a few of my favorite pens and stationery. Um, this is a Pilot GTEC C4. Very good for drawing and writing and everything. 
I like it because it's a full plastic body, so usually when you spend for a long period of time, like a few years, then the rubber will always get sticky. So you will never have this problem with this pen. Very good pen. Very classic as well. Next up we have this trade. I don't really know what the model is, but it's a very good pen. Very silent clicks. Yep, and it has a good heft to it, in a way. So yeah, this got me through A-levels as well. Now for my notebooks, so this is a Lick Term 1917 A5, I believe. So very good, soft bound as well, so you can open it flat. Uh, I use this to make my to-do list and everything. Let's see what's, let's see what is in here. So, uh, yep, to-do list, after to-do list, after to-do list, so yeah. Um, I also bring around the Daily Rowney. I think this is B5. So this one is actually hard bound. I used it to draw and just journal and thought dump and everything. Uh, I drew this while waiting for my friend. It's actually nothing amazing. I just think it's a very good way to de-stress and whatever. If the drawings are ugly then so be it actually. I don't really care. Because I'm the only one who's gonna see it. I guess I'll just walk you through some of my other miscellaneous uh, devices. So this is my Casio FX96G+. Plus. So this is the TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition. And last but not least, my TIBAII Plus. And some other random stuff. So I'm trying to take more pictures. I actually bought this Minolta X700 uh, two years ago. Uh, for some reason or another, this thing kind of broke on me. So that's why I haven't used it as much. I recently managed to fix it, I don't even know how. Uh, so yeah, I'll be bringing this around much more. Anyway, that's all from now. Cheers!